today's Christmas spot, we're going to be having a look at the McFarlane Toys Twisted Christmas. We're looking today at Santa Claus. Santa Claus from the Twisted Christmas. Down below, we've got a little picture of a cartoon of Santa Claus. Actually drawn, you can see right down below. Maybe you can't. Let me zoom in for you. Actually drawn by Todd McFarlane. Now, being that this is a Todd, Todd McFarlane uh, toy, it's not gonna. It's obviously not going to be very child friendly. In fact, uh, the fact that they call it Twisted Christmas should be some indication to you that there's something not quite right. You can clearly see that there's not. <laughs> there's something not quite right uh, by the fact that the packaging of the toy is a completely open window. Um, there's a green background there with some snowflakes, but for the most part, all you're seeing is the toy itself. Which is really cool because, you know, if you don't want to open it and you want to keep it on display, you can still do that and appreciate the toy. On the side, Père Noël Santa Claus, for ages 13 and up. And on the back... <clears throat> says, Santa Claus, this jolly fella is the man of the hour, and he's headed for your chimney with a bag full of goodies. Although looking at him, I don't know. I don't know if it's the kind of goodies that this guy really wants. It says, inside the dis uh, decadently distorted mind of Todd McFarlane, the holidays take an entirely different twist. Forget the warmth of Christmas past. Mc McFarlane's twisted Christmas transforms the characters you thought you knew and the results are undeniably wicked. Um, also available in this wave, or in this series of figures, there's a very attractive Mrs. Claus, Rudy the Reindeer, we got Snowman, Jack Frost, and finally Santa's Little Helper. Not to be confused with the Simpsons dog, I don't think these guys are ones you would want to keep as pets. I'm curious, one thing I'm curious about is the fact, I wonder if this mask comes off. Because on the back here, you can see that Santa Claus, let's zoom in, shall we? Just in case this is a variant. Pardon my finger. Just in case this is a variant, just want to show you guys the face of this Santa Claus toy. That is very cool. It says, sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? <laughs> For more news and for more information on upcoming McFarlane toys, pretty much all Halo stuff, check out www.spawn.com. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this opened up, and we are going to have ourselves a look. First I'll just adjust the camera. We're going to have ourselves a look at Chris Kringle, Santa Claus. Stay tuned, guys. There is more on the way. Don't go anywhere. It seems that all the... Twisted Christmas figures all come with a display stand. As you can see, it's some snow, some sleigh bells, and of course some very large footprints. Within those footprints are some pegs, which also coincide with the peg holes that are on the undersides of Santa's feet. Um, Santa is very top heavy, so I would think use of this display stand very crucial so that poor Santa doesn't topple over. So if he topples over, I'm betting none of us are getting presents. Now really, looking at Santa Claus here, I don't know if we necessarily would want gifts from this guy. He is pretty scary indeed. I think a lot of the scariness comes from his very sharp claws that Santa is sporting. It looks as if he is part, I wouldn't say necessarily part robotic, but it looks like the claws themselves have been riveted uh, to his hand. He's got, he's got these little ringlets all over his fingers, as you can see there. And even the claws themselves look as if they've been bolted to his fingers, as you can see there. Very, very long fingernails, I might add, or very long blades. Very similar to uh, a Freddy Krueger style glove. Now, my only real concern 
don't know if you can hear that, but to me, that is the sound of something that could easily break. If, uh, if you package this the wrong way, if it certainly falls off your shelf and bangs and hits the floor, uh, these could break. So uh, a little bit of caution, I think, would be uh, would certainly be be good for a figure li like this. Now you see his hat is moving. There's stuff going on in there. We'll get into that in a second. Um, other things to point out is Santa's really curly shoes, which I really like. I think that's neat. Santa's, of course, is Santa pants with a little belt going on there. He's got a very yellowed shirt as well. And he's got the fur trim going all the way around his jacket. Really nice detailing in the jacket as well. There's some, where the creases are in the jacket themselves, there's a darker wash that's been applied. I really like that quite a bit. And uh, apparently a video is going, hold on a second. <laughs> that's so funny. I had a video going off in the background. I'm totally keeping it in there, totally keeping it in. Anyways, where was I? The paint in the creases of the jacket, I think, really only adds to the detailing. You can see that there's individual grains done, uh, where you can, it looks clearly that uh, this has been done by hand. You can really see the individual marks that have been put in the jacket. Really, really nice work. And turn this all the way around. Zoom into Santa's face here. You can see that Sen is sporting a gas mask. Why is he, what, G Spot, why is he wearing a gas mask? We'll get into that in a second. He's also got his Santa beard, Santa hat up at the top there. Now the hat is removable. And underneath, well, there's the hat right there. Apparently it's got a letter A in the inside. Maybe this hat's for me, I don't know. There's his hat. Um, underneath, though, you can see that there's some there's a Band-Aid. That doesn't look good. Santa hurt himself? Uh, where's Santa's hair? Where, where's Santa's hair? Something doesn't make sense. Well, it turned out that the back of the package wasn't so much a variant. It was actually an unmasked version of this figure here. Um, this whole section right here, the beard as well as the mask. Now, I thought actually the mask came off on its own but the mask is attached to the lower beard section of the mask of the of this area of the uh, piece here and you can take off the entire piece and there you have the mask with complete beard when we remove it we have a very disfigured I don't know Santa has seen better days in fact I would almost say Santa looks dead he's got one side that's very decayed one side maybe is still alive. Maybe the spirit of Christmas is keeping it alive. Who really knows? Um, it doesn't look like he has any articulation in the head here. Um, probably due to the fact that the mask just goes over top of it anyways. And down below is where you see the sleigh bells ring. I'm still listening. I don't know about you guys, but I'm still listening. Um, this is very cool. I like I like the fact that the mask came off. I didn't realize the mask actually came off. Um, now, granted, I I wouldn't necessarily. I mean, the mask, the the hat itself could probably fit on his head as is. Not well, mind you. It's really intended to fit around the mask area. But I guess if you wanted to have a more skeleton type Santa Claus, you could really do that if you wanted to. Um, but I think the detailing on the face is really really nice. Um, let's actually, you know what, we'll put this back on. Uh, it, there is actually nothing holding this on, except for the fact that you can see that there is, I'm trying to see where it actually connects out to. I guess it really connects into, there's a peg right here, right there as you can see, and the peg right in his nose. So this actually, you actually will stick this piece right into Santa's nose. And that's what holds it together. Now, no wonder he's so angry. I'd be pretty angry too if I had a peg stuck in my nose. And we put the hat on. The hat, unfortunately, is the one thing that's a bit of a disappointment because it stays on, but it wobbles quite a bit, which is the only downside, I guess. Um, in the way of Santa's articulation, he has 
of rotation. Now granted, this, this figure is really, really tight, so it's going to be hard to move a lot of the joints from what I'm noticing here. Uh, the arms have a swivel. It can move back and forth. It seems once you get it back as far as this, it really doesn't move any further. Uh, but you can at least bring the arms forward. You can take the arms themselves, the forearms, and rotate them. So you can have Santa ask for money. Um, it, it, I like the fact that they both have that. You can kind of have them in a real, you know, kind of creepy... You imagine waking up in the middle of the night and having this guy looming over top of you? I don't know. I, I have a feeling Santa's going to be wanting a little more than just cookies. There appears to be no waist articulation. If there is waist articulation, I can't seem to get it. This figure, this part is extremely tight. I'm almost thinking there isn't, though. But there is a swivel in his feet as well. Uh, overall, just a really nice figure. I think uh, McFarlane Toys did a bang-up job on these figures. And uh, I'm glad, well, first of all, I'm glad I, I started the review with Santa Claus because it made the most sense, you know. But uh, a really detailed figure, really, really dark, and uh, I think it kind of just adds to a real charm to this set. Uh, Santa Claus is going to get a very magical 8.5. Uh, you really can't get any better than this. If you're into, you know, if you're a bit of a twisted mind and you like Christmas, well, I would say definitely pick these guys up. Today's Christmas spot, we're having a look at the McFarlane Toys Twisted Christmas. We're looking at Santa Claus, literally claws. Very, very sharp. And also, I want to point out too that these are, we can joke about it, but these are actually pretty sharp. At least the ends of them are, so I wouldn't necessarily be running in the hall with this guy in case you poke your little brother's eye out. Uh, then he probably would want more for Christmas than uh, just his two front teeth. He might want two new eyes. But thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more Christmas spots to come. And I'll see you guys next time. Ho, 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 ho.